Good morning. Hello. I hope all of you had a wonderful Merry Christmas. This is Anne popping back in her kitchen. And you guys, it's left some morning here, and I haven't been on live for a while, so I thought I'd pop on and show you the process of making lefsa. It's the recipe we like to use from our Scandinavian um, heritage is in our Second Harvest cookbook. But yesterday we riced all the potatoes and let them cool in the refrigerator overnight. And then the day we added some flour and some half and half. So I have my whole bowl of um, dough here and I actually have one rolled out right now. So I will just lift this up and move it over to the griddle so you guys can see how this works. Hello. Um, and then you just cook it on the griddle until it gets some nice... Um, brown spots and then you tuck it underneath here. I have some pieces already under here as you can see under the cozy so that they stay warm for everybody who wants to eat them. But literally you just take, I take um, about the amount of dough of a small baseball and pat it a little bit out and then I flour the cloth board and then this is a special rolling pin as you can see with all the ridges. Maybe I need to come up here. If you've never made lefsa before, it's a special rolling pin that you cover with a cloth so that things don't stick. And then you just roll. And it looks like I'm gonna have to uh, flip my piece of lefsa that's cooking over there before I get this one ready. But you just roll it super thin, so kind of like a tortilla. And then if you guys are watching and you're a household that makes or eats lefsa, I'd be really curious to know how you guys eat it because some families do butter and sugar, like that's what I prefer. Other families do, there you go, and you can see it's just um, lightly browned and you use this really thin paddle. Um, but other families do brown sugar and my sister-in-law and her family, they love to do cinnamon and sugar with their lefsa but you definitely butter it and there's nothing better than when it's warm, you guys. It's so good that way. So it's just a process. And if you've gone to any um, holiday markets in a normal year, sometimes you will see lefsa there offered, but it's fairly expensive because it's kind of time consuming and labor intensive, but it's really a fun thing to do um, if your family has some history with it or that you enjoy doing it. So I thought it'd be fun to just pop on here live and show you something that wasn't a meal. And um, I don't know, I've been busy getting ready for the holidays. So I hadn't popped on to cook for you for a while. Then we were gone for a few days. And so you can see, then you just lift it up with the paddle again. And it's hard to stay in the picture there for you. You tuck it under the cozy so it stays warm. You take the next, oops. Of course, I have you live and I just put a gouge in that one. I didn't flour my board enough. Nope, I'm not gonna be able to get that one off and show you. So this is part of the process too. If you don't put enough flour on your board, you'll have to peel off your left sun start over and reflower the board. Um, so don't get frustrated when this happens because it happens to every left sun maker. And I'm gonna try to salvage it, but I don't think there's any reason to try to salvage it, honestly. I might as well just peel it off and reflower it and do another one. And then that's what's really nice about this turner though, is that it is multi-purpose and it really helps. So um, I don't know where you guys all live that are watching, but if you're local, you can get all the Lefsa supplies up in Decora at their Scandinavian store. If you're not local, you can of course order all this online too, but it's kind of fun to go to a store where they all make it too. So um, we'll just do this one over and I'll show you it one more time quick and then I will just let you go. But you guys put in the comments, I hope you had a Merry Christmas. But if you've made lefsa, I wanna know how your family eats it. Or if you've bought it at a store or something, I wanna know um, how you guys serve it too. And do you eat the whole piece rolled up like a tortilla? Or do you roll yours um, with cinnamon and butter or whatever and then cut it into little pieces? Because that's also something that is different based on the household. So, Jim told me my rolling pin needs to be oiled because it's kind of squeaky and that's probably true. But it's old. My mom gave me all of this a few years ago when she decided she was done making the lefsa. So it came to my house. 
and then we will put another sheet on and we will cook it and then we will be done and if you guys were here I would share Lefsa with you um, but you're not so I hope you had a great holidays and I wish you a happy new year too and I'll pop back on live when things get back to a routine see you soon